This is the original GM oil pan that came off that 77 or 78 motor, whatever year it is. It's like day one now. 77. 77. Four? 400. Yeah. For who? For Bruce, okay. right? Bruce's okay. motor? Yeah. Okay, it's like day one now. Mm -hmm. um, the motor was, you know, had to, it was pretty nasty. Um, I don't know what he was doing with it or using it, doing with it, but um, it's going to be real nice now. Okay, let's um, go to the motor. We can, we can go to the engine. Um, the short block is, uh, I just put it together. And um, Okay, what did you do so far to get to this point? Well, I'll flip, well, let's see. Uh, it's bored and honed, it's bored 30 over. The crank had to be cut 2020 because it was in very bad shape. Um, I checked all the connecting rods, the big end, there, it was all in, in fine, it was within spec. Um, the, mod the oil pump is new and modified, the bearings are modified, the oiling system of the block is all modified, which you can't see now because of all everything's put together. I'm going to turn it over real quick so you can just look at um, the cylinders um, and the 30 over forged pistons. And um, you can see some modifications to the block work because all the valley cover, all the valley area here where there's tremendous amount of casting flash has been all ground down and smooth and oh, yeah. really nice. That. There's no casting flash anywhere. The competition cams cam is already installed with new cam bearings. And uh, the piston to wall uh, is at four thousandths instead of two. Um, it's a uh, it's going to be a nice piece. It's going to make good power. Uh, the cylinder heads are right here. That I just got them back from the machine shop. Disassembled and completely glass beaded and cleaned. Um, let me move some stuff out of the way so you can see them. They're uh, I mean, it's a little bit of a mess, but the cylinder heads are are uh, stock 6x-4s, which are going to be completely ported and polished and all the casting flash removed and the oil galleys deburred and all the guides are going to be cut down for seals because there's no seals from the factory and we're going to mill the head for more compression um, and it's going to have a good competition valve job and we use uh, we use uh, Ferrea stainless steel Ferrea valves uh, custom Ferrea valves, really nice pieces that I had made are going to go in these heads and uh, it's going to be it's going to be well that's because it got peened here because of the, it's got shot peen because of the uh, when they clean the head it rolls over the outside so it doesn't want to fit but anyway that's just got to be relieved compared to the factory valves which I still have in the bag if you'd like to see what was in here See the, see the, this is what was in here, garbage, two-piece garbage valve, and this is what's going in, a nice stainless one piece that's turned down, very light, very, very good, nice piece, real nice valve. These were the valves that were in the motor, everything a ball of rust, everything just, just garbage. Okay, where else? Uh I gotta get to the heads, probably starting them tomorrow, which is a very, very, very long process. It takes about two weeks to do the cylinder heads because the porting and the polishing and the uh, filling of the heat crossover with aluminum. With all your tools and all here? that stuff. Yeah, this is just a mess. The table grinding material and all that, everything's just uh, sort of a mess right now. But, you know, it's, that's, how, that's how we work. <laughs> you know, there's a, a customer's race motor there that's. Um, that you guys are going to be installing hopefully in the uh, guy's car real soon. Uh, trains him. Right, right, right. Um, and that's basically it. And I mean, this is your race car, yeah, which won uh, many contests. Uh, yeah, 1976, fifth anniversary, been, uh, Charlie Kebabi championship, many times. Yeah. Look at those stars. Of course, we're not going to do this with Bruce's car. But um, we're going to make it run uh, flawlessly and uh, with a good amount of power. Yeah, everything turns here really nice and free. I mean, I'm barely putting any pressure here to turn everything because all the clearances have been adjusted. Um, the crank is ground, index ground. Um, 
you know, it's uh, that's how you build them. The motor will turn up real good, have good power, and uh, you should be really, really happy with it. So Just make sure you change the oil and filter and don't abuse it. Change the oil and filter every 3,000 miles and uh, religiously, and, um, and you'll be fine. It should last you for many, 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 many years of, uh, of fun. So I guess I'll see you in about two weeks, and the uh, motor should be ready by then? Hopefully, yeah, in about two weeks, two to three weeks, you should be done, complete, head sported, on, built, intake manifold, which Paint. is right there, on, and... Fully painted, correct GM oh, yeah, color? The correct color. Here's, here's, here's a timing chain cover from that particular motor that's already been cleaned and sandblasted and painted the correct color and the new seal installed and, um, you know, ready to uh, go on. All right. So I guess we'll, we'll see you in... Uh We'll see you in, uh, see you, see you at uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> in part two. Yeah, right. Part two. Right. See you at Thanksgiving. Bye.